you might want to include an audio file in your e-learning lesson, either to fulfill your personal connection requirement or just because you feel like it's the best way to explain things to your students, for them to be able to actually hear you explaining it. So in this sample lesson, um, right here it says, what can you do to prevent the summer slide? Follow this link to find out. When students click that, they get an audio file they can play with my explanation. And then when they're done, they can close that and be back on their lesson. So I want to show you how to do that. It's going to begin with using a very simple tool called Online Voice Recorder. Um, you just go to this URL and you get this page. There's no sign-in necessary. You're going to be able to record and save that audio file very quickly. So to do that, I just click the record button and it's going to begin recording me immediately. You can see that it's doing that. And then whenever I'm done, I stop. Then I can play back my recording and listen to it, make sure I'm happy with it. I can record it again if I'm not. Now there's two steps to the saving process. We click Save, and we're, it's saving that audio recording. But then we have to click, click this Click to Save button in order to actually download it to our computer. So I'm going to recall, call this you know, Sample Recording. And I'm going to save it in my Downloads folder. So I'm going to click Save. Of course, you always want to make sure you make a note of the name of the file and where you saved it so that you can find that again. Now, to make this in our lesson, we can't just upload an audio file into Google Forms. We're going to have to put that into Google Drive, and then we're going to link to it in our form. So we're going to come here to Google Drive, and we're going to do New File Upload. So here in my Downloads folder is that sample recording that I did. I'm just going to click it and open and it's going to draw into Google Drive here. Okay, here it is, sample recording MP3. So before I can just grab the link to this and put it in my lesson, I need to make sure it's accessible to the students. So I'm going to highlight that and go to my share settings. In share settings, click on advanced. Right now it says it's private. I can only access it, so I want to change that. I want to make it so anyone who has the link, in other words, anyone who's working in this lesson, can. it says can view it. In this case, they're going to listen to it, but we do want view as our option. They're not going to be able to edit it or comment on it anyway, so we're just going to make it can view. Anyone with the link can view. You want to make sure you have those settings and click Save. Anyone who has the link can view. That's what we want this to say. Now we have a share link that we can copy to our clipboard. And now I'm going to come back to our lesson. And here in this box that um, I give those instructions, I'm just going to um, hit enter. Pretend this isn't already there. Just going to hit enter and paste that in all we have to do to add that link in. So you do have to make sure that you have changed the share settings. That's probably the most crucial step to make sure that anyone with the link can access that.